Hey Campernoia, I hope you are all doing well. I am super stoked for our summer 2020 and cannot wait to get to camp. Meanwhile, um, we have some activities for you on YouTube. So make sure you check in every so often and follow along if you'd like. Um, my name is Mackenzie and I'm here from Ohio. And today we're gonna be doing shaving cream art. So this is a card I made earlier. I did the front and the back. Um, and all I used to make this was Shaving cream, a couple of food colorings, a cookie sheet pan, and then some white cardstock paper. So any kind of paper that is just thicker, has some weight to it, um, because the shaving cream will make it damp so that way it doesn't all cave in and curl up. So to get started, first we want to tie up our hair. Mine's already up. And then roll up your sleeves or put on a shirt that you don't mind getting dirty or stained. Um, keep in mind everything we work with today um, has the potential to get stained um, from this food coloring. So this is a great activity to do outside in the grass if you'd like. Um, and then I also have a spatula. Yeah, just be mindful of what you use. And then I also have an old towel um, because I don't mind this getting stained. You can also use a paper towel. Um, that works just as well. So we're gonna go ahead and start making these. The idea is um, you can send these, you can make these and then write in them, send letters to your camp friends. Oh, I wrote in there just earlier. It says, hello, Renoya. Um, so the idea is you can make these for your camp friends and then send them to your shack mates or anyone at camp and get excited about camp, talk about what you're doing in this time. And um, yeah, you could also give them to a family member or friend as a thank you note, or like, hey, that's really awesome. Thanks for helping me with that thing. And it'll be really cool because it's nice and special that you took the time to make this by hand. You made the card yourself. You took time to write yourself a note in there. Um, a lot more personal than just sending a message through social media. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is grab our pan and then spray the shaving foam on it. I just got this cheap uh, shaving foam from Walmart for like 98 cents or something. And then, so let's spray it on. <laughs> like I said, it's going to get messy. This is the first time I used this can. So it kind of spat out a little bit and that's okay. Um, just be aware of that. Maybe do it over your sink for the first time. And then now I'm going to take the spatula and then just make sure this is nice and even. A nice flat surface. Great. And then I'm going to make it flat across here as well. The reason we want a flat surface is because we're gonna be putting food color on here, food dye, food coloring, and then um, then putting our paper on there as well. So we want the paper to soak up all of the colors evenly. I'm just gonna go at this again, make sure it's good. Okay, well, I think every time we're making it just a little bit worse. <laughs> and that's okay. Just do your best. It doesn't need to be perfect. Um, just make it pretty flat. By the way, I also have a separate pan over here, nice and clean. That way when it's done or make the first card, I have somewhere to set it where it's not getting on the table. Um, just to keep things nice and clean while we're inside the house. So my favorite color is blue. I'm just gonna put a couple drops of blue uh, food dye on there. So I just put three drops, that will go a long way. Feel free, now we're gonna make the design. So feel free to use toothpicks. Um, these will make small, delicate designs. Um, I don't know if you can see that well, but it's pretty small. Or um, you can grab a spatula or a spoon and the different size of what you have will make the different designs. All right, so now I'm just gonna start blending the color into the shading foam. Cool, and I quite like that a lot. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put my card in. So I have my card stuck. I'm gonna fold it up like a card in half.
and I'm gonna lay it flat into the shaving foam, just gently, and then gently press down on it so it gets an even color. So the color gets on at every spot. All right, and I'm gonna gently lift it up. And there we have it. So that didn't really get all the bits of color, so I'm gonna put it back again. Maybe I didn't press hard enough, we'll try again, no worries. Cool. And now this one should be better. Yeah, that's a lot better. All right, now I'm gonna use my spatula and wipe off all the extra shaving cream. So you wanna do this pretty gently, that way it doesn't smear your design. Just do the best you can. All right, so most of it is off for now. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this card in the tray over here. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna keep the shaving cream. No need to toss it away or run it down the sink. I'm gonna keep adding to it. So I could add more blue, I could just put another card right on, um, or I could add different colors, make a different design. So for me right now, I wanna add a couple of different colors. So I'm gonna put two drops of green, and then I'll put a red in there, perfect. And now I'm going to use the wire end of my spatula and kind of blend all of these together. Okay, I really like that. That looks nice. And you can, like, maybe you can't really see it from here as well, but it has like a blue orange and orange its way down to a blue green into a green with the um, spots of orange so i'm gonna make one more card fold it in half set it down into the shaving foam and then um just pre press down gently sleeves are starting to roll or fall down i mean not roll <laughs> i needed to roll them all right, and there we go. Let's try this. We'll lift it up gently. Ooh, that one will make very cool. And now, I'm gonna make sure my spatula is nice and clean. Right now there's all the stuff on it, so I'm gonna wipe it on the side. So I've got a fairly clean spatula. Again, doesn't need to be perfect. Can be if you want. If you wanna take it to the sink and give it a rinse off, you can. But that's good enough. Um, and then we're just gonna gently wipe this extra shaving foam. And this one I don't pick up a lot so of extra, so that's good. All right, now I'm going to set this one into my tray over here. And I'm going to put this to the side because I'm done with that for now. You can make probably eight off of that same uh, foam with the color in. Just keep making similar ones and then add, add more dye as needed. So now I have my two cards in the pan. I'm going to grab my towel that I don't mind getting dirty and just gently wipe off the extra shaving foam. And same thing here. Awesome. So here's the first one we did. And then now you can write in it to your friends, put it in an envelope. Uh, put a stamp on it, write your friend's address, and then put it in the mail. And they'll be very surprised and probably pretty happy when they get it. Everybody loves surprise mail. Um, that's not a bill. <laughs> but of course, you guys don't have those quite yet. So, there we are. And then you can write in it, like I said. Maybe this one you would want to give to a family member and say, thank you for setting up my, um, I don't know. Thank you for setting up my soccer goals in the backyard so I could practice or whatnot. Spread positivity around if your neighbor um, needs a little words of encouragement, you can write in here and pop in their mailbox and it will make it a day. So here is a, a finished one like I showed you in the beginning. And this one is <laughs> upside down, <laughs> but this one's dry and this is ready to go. And my hands are a little bit stained, um, but it's not getting on me anymore. It's a dry, perfect. And if you would like, you can wear gloves to avoid um, stained hands like mine. But I really, I don't mind it. Um, yeah, I think these are great. So now you can just leave these in the pan to dry. And 
probably half an hour or so, they'll be ready. All right, Renaya girls, I hope you have a great day and um, have fun practicing. And it's okay if you don't make the perfect one the first time. Just keep practicing. You can make as many um, as you have supplies for or would like to. And the more you practice, the better you get at it, I promise. This was my first one here. So definitely took a bit of practice, but got it done and now they look really nice. All right, see you guys later.